should have known it was going to be a funny old day from their first attack. Just watch this shot coming up from Robbie Musto. The ball wasn't bouncing their way, but United pressed on. None tried harder to score than Martin Foyle. Midway through the first half, they got the goal they deserved. A fine piece of football, too, from David Penny. His first league goal for Oxford. Once in the lead, United looked relaxed and played some good stuff. Watch this move, which ended with Paul Simpson. By rights, Ipswich should have been dead and buried at half-time. The start of the second half was the same, Oxford on top. The second goal was a classic of a corner, John Durning getting the final touch. At 2-0, United were cruising, but they must have a cut-off switch or something, because once again they sat back and let Ipswich slowly take over control. Jason Dezel was the danger man, he moved back into midfield, and suddenly Ipswich were alive. So it was really no surprise when they got a goal back. Ian Redford the scorer with just eight minutes to go. Moments later came controversy. The referee mysteriously waved play on from an offside. Ipswich, not Oxford, though, had the ball, and things went from bad to worse with poor old David Penny scoring an own goal. Brian Horton was booked for complaining to the linesman. He's going to appeal. And the Oxford fans gave their verdict at the end. Who'd be a referee?